After serving 17 years in prison for the murder of an elderly woman in Carthage, Bernie Tita is free tonight and starting a new life here in Austin. He moved into the Hyde Park home of film director Richard Linkletter, whose movie Bernie led to Tita winning early release from prison. KXAN's David Scott caught up with the filmmaker today to talk about his new house guest. After 17 years in lockup, what must freedom feel like, especially here in peaceful Hyde Park? The new home, a garage apartment behind the house, belonging to director Richard Linklater. A judge freed Bernie Tita when details he'd been sexually abused came out, and the abuse he suffered at the hands of 81-year-old Marjorie Nugent, the millionaires he shot dead. Richard Linklater was attracted to the people and the case. Well, I grew up in East Texas, and I felt I knew guys like Bernie, and I knew people like Miss Nugent. I knew everybody in that story. Room service. Linklater's 2012 film, Bernie, starred Jack Black as Bernie, Shirley MacLaine as Marjorie. It ended up reopening the case, something the director never expected. No, never in a million years. I mean, I, I had my feelings about it, you know, that maybe it, it could, but I didn't know how. Linklater got to know Bernie, visiting him in prison. I, mean, I saw how he related to everybody and a much beloved guy. We agreed not to tape Bernie, who's at peace now, a newly licensed paralegal with a job here in Austin. He's done 17 years. It was a little bit like being with Rip Van Winkle. It's a new world he's stepping into, so it's a slow process, but he's, he's got such a positive attitude. He's, he's a really positive guy. With something to feel positive about, David Scott, KXAN News. Bernie Tita's early release must still win approval from the Court of Criminal Appeals. He is free on a $10,000 bond and agrees to random drug tests and visits with county officials. He must hold a steady job, surrender his passport, and have no contact with the media or the victim's family, and he cannot possess a firearm. Digging deeper now, this isn't the first time a film led to an inmate getting out of jail. You may recall the case out of Arkansas known as the West Memphis Three. We can still try to clear our name. In the early 90s, these three teenagers were convicted of killing Cub Scouts in what police called a satanic ritual. But in the years that followed, several documentaries came out, namely the film Paradise Lost. It shed a different light on the West Memphis Three, showing them as misfits, not murderers. Celebrities like Johnny Depp and Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam took up their cause. The men were released from prison in 2011 following DNA evidence. They entered a plea that maintained their innocence but acknowledged prosecutors likely had enough evidence to convict them.